Hallo, my friends. Namaste. Brahmanda Pranayama. Brahmanda is the universe, the cosmic manifestation. And Pranayama, to hold back, to extend and to control the prana, the life force. All these various Pranayama techniques, it is not just about controlling the mind, feeling good, feeling young, feeling energized, all these various benefits. It is more about purifying the subtle energy channels in our bodies, the nadis. And then when the nadis are purified, we can practice deeper pranayamas. And Brahmanda Pranayama is, so to say, the crown of all practices. Because the goal of pranayama is not, like I said, just to feel good. The goal is to go to the next stage of the yoga letter, and that means pratyahara. Pratyahara means to withdraw the senses of the objects of the senses. First you have yama niyama, all the rules and regulations, followed by asana, that you can sit for some time in a good posture, spine straight, rest of the body relaxed. Then we can practice pranayama to purify our mind, our senses. Then we come to pratyahara to withdraw the senses and only then we can go into deep meditation. So pramanda pranayama prepares us to going really deep, to go into deeper layers of ourselves. It's not so much an external exercise, it's more an internal way to connect with your deeper self. Usually, we are always in dualities, left and right, white and black, the sun and the moon, female, male, good and the bad, creation, destruction, inhale, exhale. But we want to reverse the inhalation and the exhalation, so to say to get free from the dualities of inhale and exhale, to reverse and offer the inhalation into the exhalation and the exhalation into the inhalation. And then you can fully center. Please sit in a comfortable sitting position. Your spine is straight and the rest of the body is completely relaxed. You can sit on a chair, you can sit on the floor, on a yoga mat, whatever feels right for you. And then close your eyes and focus the mind on the breath, on the in and the exhale through the nose. How does the breathing feel for you? Are you more agitated and stressed? Or is it very calming and soothing and just accept whatever comes up for you at the moment. Feel the temperature of the breath. Is it more warm or cold? And smilingly observe the breath. Keep your spine straight, the rest of the body relaxed. Relax your neck and your shoulders, your upper back and your lower back, your chest and your abdominal area. Relax your sitting muscles, your legs, your feet. Relax your upper arms and your lower arms and your hands, also the fingers, completely relaxed. Relax your face muscles, your cheekbone, your jawbone, your forehead and your skull, around the temples area. Relax your eyelids and keep a gentle smile on your lips. And smilingly observe the breath.
Now consciously inhale from the root of your spine. The prana moves up along your subtle spine, the Shashumna Nadi, all the way up to your crown. Feel the energy in your crown. And then with the exhalation, just letting go of the breath. Very soft, very gentle, no pushing, no force. Just let the breath happen by itself during the exhalation. Consciously inhale, bring the prana energy up all the way to your crown chakra. Hold the breath for a few seconds. Feel the energy emanating all the way up. And then letting go with the exhalation without any effort. Just let the breath carry you. Let life, let the universe carry you. Make the breath more soft and more calm with the inhalation. No need to breathe so deep anymore. And find the peace within. And now letting go of the breath completely with the inhalation and exhalation. Just smilingly observe the breath without any effort, any control. Just let the breath, let life happen by itself. Giving up the breath, letting go of the control, letting go of the mind. Find the calmness, the peace within. Wonderful. This is the essence of pranayama. To still the mind, to find the peace within, to not engage with the external and really, and really focus on the internal. Take a few breaths a bit deeper, belly, diaphragm, chest.
and then slowly open your eyes. When you practice breathwork, pranayama, yoga, meditation, always try to apply this technique, especially Brahmanda Pranayama. Just letting go of the breath, letting go of life, letting go of the control. The mind and the breath, they are both connected. By letting go of the breath, you can easily let go of the mind. No worries, no fear, only bliss, happiness, love, kindness. Thank you for tuning in today. Please check out this video here because I'm sure you will like this as well. Namaste.